Royal flushed secret royals leading normal lives, from Zara Tyndall's half-sister to princess who says dad left her to the dogs. Hello everyone welcome to my channel. I hope everyone having wonderful day after watching this video please subscribe button and keep watching video. Your subscription is very important. For most royals, having blue blood means a life of privilege and wealth, but what if you are not officially recognized as one of the family? Alexander Grimaldi Cost, the son of Monaco's Prince Albert, was the product of an romance between the royal and Air France attendant Nicole Costa. Ahead of his 20th birthday, this week, the university student said he considers himself lucky, blasting the label illegitimate and insisting he is close to his family. Alexander is the Monaco ruler's eldest son but is not included in the line of succession for the throne because his parents were not married. But his he father has always acknowledged with his twin him. siblings Prince Jacques and Princess Gabriella, eight, who Albert shares with wife Princess Charlene, and half-sister Jasmine, 31, when I was born, neither of my parents were in another marriage, and they did not commit adultery, he says. Using that word, illegitimate, is insulting. One bears the name of one's father when one has been recognized since birth. While Alexander has always been welcomed into the Grimaldi fold, the fate of other outlying royals can be far from a fairy tale. Never met dad until 11, Jasmine Grimaldi was born in the U.S. after Prince Albert had a brief fling with American waitress Tamara Rotolo, who he met at a Monaco tennis tournament in 1991, although privately acknowledged by her royal dad, who sent messages through her mum, Jasmine was not publicly recognized until 2006 and didn't meet him until she was 11. She traveled to Monaco to Dr. meet him, Prince in 2006. publicly revealed he had a child living in the States. I wanted that moment to connect with my father, she told Harper's Bazaar, to get to know him, and to have him get to know me. Reflecting on her early years, she added, not having had that figure around, I missed that. It's wonderful that it happened when it did and we've been enjoying a great relationship ever since. Now 31, she has grown close to her father and his wife, Princess Charlene, as well as her twin half-siblings, Princess Gabriella and Prince Jacques, and her older half-brother Alexander. In 2021, the prince was reportedly hit with a court case claiming that he fathered a third child with an unknown Brazilian woman, in 2005, his lawyers dismissed the claim as a hoax. Zara Tyndall's half-sister. Princess Anne's first husband Mark Phillips was reportedly still in the marriage when he fathered Felicity Wade during a one-night stand with New Zealander Her Heather Tonkin in 1984. Her first met the then-royal at a riding clinic in her home city and became friends, before having a brief fling with him in his hotel room a year later. Phillips had no contact with Felicity, although he paid her euro 6,000 a year through an associate, Mail Online reports. Felicity was unaware of her royal heritage and thought her father was dead, until she was doing a school project on her family history, at the age of eight, and Heather decided to tell her. In 1991, when the payments became erratic, two years after Princess Anne and Mark Philip separated, Heather launched a lawsuit. I hope and pray Mark will do the right thing and make a proper and legally binding settlement on her, she said at the time. I wish I could wake up one morning in the knowledge that the record had been put straight and I don't have to worry anymore. The court ordered a DNA test, which the proved Phillips was the child's the reported father. reported euro 350,000, Felicity, half-sister to Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips, inherited her father's love of horses and, ironically, went on to marry polo player Tristan Wade. She has also worked as a vet. Duke's Secret Affairs Queen Elizabeth's uncle Prince George, the Duke of Kent, was rumored to have fathered two children during secret affairs, although mystery surrounds both. Michael Temple Canfield, born in 1926, was rumored to have been the result of a long affair with Alice Kiki Preston in 1926, a glamorous American socialite known as the The Girl with the Silver Syringe, due to her addiction to cocaine and heroin. Michael was adopted by publisher Cass Canfield and the Duke's brother, later Edward VII, was one of the many who believed Kiki to be the child's mother. However, it later emerged Michael's mum was Violet Isabel Christine Evans, the daughter of a Canadian coal merchant. also rumored to have had a fling. 
She gave up her son for adoption after marrying Army officer Ian Carslake, during her pregnancy. Michael, who followed his adoptive dad into publishing, went on to marry Lee Bouvier, sister of Jackie Kennedy, before moving to England and marrying Laura Charteris, ex-wife of the Earl of Dudley. After they married in 1960, she took her new husband to lunch with the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Laura said, the Duke never stopped staring at Michael. So much so that I asked, is anything the matter? The Duke quietly replied, yes. I am certain your husband is my brother's son. Michael passed away in 1969, the Duke was also rumored to be the father of novelist Barbara Cartland's daughter, Rain McCorkadale. Born in 1929, Rain was born after Barbara wed first husband Alexander McCorkadale, but she later claimed Saki was barely capable was of performing the, the sexual danger act. of getting pregnant by him, she said. Barbara believed Prince George, later the Duke of Kent, was Rain's father, saying, he was absolutely adorable as well as being the most amazing lover. Rain went on to become a countess three times over by marriage and, after marrying Earl Spencer, in 1976, she became stepmom to the future Princess Diana. Left me like a piece of meat. The parentage of Belgian sculptor Delphine Boll, now 55, has always been considered an open secret in royal circles. She is the result of King Albert II of Belgium's 18-year affair with Baroness Sybil de Salis Longchamps, and while she knew the king, her mother waited until she was 18 to reveal he was her father. A few years later, when a biographer exposed the truth, she claims the royal called her to shout, You are not my daughter. I was taken aback. It was surreal and very disturbing, she said. You don't have a child and then kind, kind of, of left me like a piece of meat to the dogs. A seven-year paternity battle ended in 2020, after DNA evidence proved her case, and she was accepted into the royal fold, enjoying a warmer relationship with her dad who now buys me flowers. On their first meeting after the case, she said, it was like nothing had happened. It was really strange. He has a brilliant sense of humor. He's a very easygoing guy, and so interesting. Prince's Battle Prince Carlos, a member of the Dutch royal family and head of the House of Bourbon Parma, fathered 26-year-old Carlos Hugo Roderick Cybron Klinstra, during his relationship with Bridget Klinstra, before he wed his current wife Princess Anne-Marie. Two years after his birth, in 1999, his paternity was confirmed through a lawsuit brought by Bridget Klinstra but Prince Carlos told Dutch media that Hugo's birth was his mother's wish and an independent decision, denying his son any rights. When he turned 18, Hugo petitioned the court for the right to adopt his father's surname and be named a prince. A court judgment in 2016 granted him the name His Royal Highness Prince Carlos Hugo Roderick Cybron of Bourbon Parma. Unlike his three half-siblings, he is not a member of the royal family or eligible to inherit the throne. DNA Test Scandal The former king of Spain's alleged love children joined forces to bring paternity claims against him, which he has always denied. Waiter Albert Sola, born in 1950, and Belgian housewife Ingrid Sarchot, born in 1966, were Juan Carlos's children and launched lawsuits in 2015, after his abdication meant he was now stripped of the immunity which allowed him to avoid DNA tests. Albert, who was adopted as a child and claimed Spain's former king met his birth mother during a trip to Barcelona in the 1950s, claimed a DNA test proved he was a 99% match to the former monarch. But in January 2000 ruled the tests invalid and an appeal to the country's constitutional court failed. Two months later the same court threw out Ingrid's claim. Last year, Albert dropped dead at a bar near the Catalan city of Girona aged 66, victory after 74 years. It took Leandro Ruiz 74 years to be recognized as a member of the Spanish royal family, despite the king's name being on his birth certificate. Born in 1929, he was the son of actress Carmen Ruiz, a mistress of King Alfonso XIII before he was deposed and fled abroad in 1931, he didn't know who his father was until he was 10 years old, but the king used a Swiss bank account to transfer funds to him during his childhood. Thank you for watching video.